Ranking the best left ends in Madden 23. We are back here with another tier list update. Today, we're going to be ranking left ends. Now, right before I do go ahead and re-rank the old cards and rank the new cards, I do want to go ahead and shout out the comment of the day. Now, let's take a look at the old tier list real quick. I'm going to move everyone from S that isn't an AKA down into A. And the whole reason for that is, especially Tank and Furious George with Run Stopper for zero, I actually think that is a really nice X Factor right now. But I still think Unstoppable Forces are really great. And maybe you could justify using them now that there's so many, that there's so much AP on defense. You could either go create even crazier with the KOs or you can run on top of the forces. I see the reasoning for either, but yeah, I'm going to drop everyone down. And yeah, this is what we're looking like before we get into the first cards. Now, the first one we got right here is Field Pass Chase Young. So if we show max ratings right here, this is what he's looking like up to a 98 overall. Can potentially be 98 speed with 99 acceleration. Has great finesse moves, great power moves, block shit, impact blocking are all, all pretty good. Gets all 32 team chems as well. So if you run a theme team, potentially can be 99 speed. And for traits is trait glitched has everything you would ever want on yes chase young cards always play amazing as well too like if you remember his uh his christmas card he's always straight glitched. and for his abilities this time he does get double zeros so potentially a no outsider edge to elite combo for zero i think if you're not running an x factor player defensive end there's little to no reason not to run the double zero ap abilities right so for that reason he is a part of the new s tier for me now the next couple of cards are all going to be theme team remix so they're all going to get the same exact abilities i'm going to cover Dwayne Smoot's abilities and then they literally all get the same ones and we're just looking at stats at this point right so first up right here we are going to show max ratings they all are up to 99s with training now instead of theme team remix coins and he could be 94 speed 97 acceleration with the sugar rush track card six foot three 264 finesse power moves block shed impact blocking are all really good for his traits has bull rush and swim move on yes we're looking for three out of three but does get two out of three and for his abilities i don't know if this card is just glitched on mutta gg but he should get one ap on top force and for his just base abilities though right double or nothing extra enforcer no outsiders all for zero so assuming it's just messed up on Mata gg and he gets the unstoppable force like all the other uh defensive ends we're going to cover for that reason it's the unstoppable force why he's s tier for me i'm gonna move chase young right behind tank and uh, furious george because the fact that the run stopper for zero i think is really good on these two cards the cards over you will have to spend ap on for them to really be like s tier and right after that we get aiden hutchinson so aiden hutchinson right here can be 97 speed 98 acceleration finesse power moves block shed impact blocking are really great and for his traits has bull rush and swim move on yes really similar traits to the card we just covered and this time you can see that yeah he gets the unstoppable force for zero i was just showing probably the only one that didn't have it was Dwayne smoot so for that reason again it's unstoppable force it's unstoppable force the reason why he's s tier for me there's really like from an ability standpoint really him smoot milkman greg rousseau are all like around the a tier level after that we get cameron Jordan. This is a card that I always think plays really good as well. It can be 95 speed, 99 acceleration. Finesse, power moves, block shed, impact blocking. Again, all great. And for his traits, only the bull rush trade on yes, though. So he's only going to use his 99 power move rating, which is actually pretty beneficial. Now, once again, though, gets the unstoppable force for zero. So literally all the cards that get unstoppable force are going to be here for me no matter what. After that, we get Calais Campbell. Again, right here, Calais Campbell. Max ratings this time can be 94 speed, 91 acceleration. As 99 power moves, the finesse moves are a little bit low but block shit impact blocking amazing he's also six foot eight 315 which is kind of ridiculous and for his traits has all the pass rush traits on yes and again he can go ahead and get the unstoppable force for me though he is going to be someone that i will put a tier because his pass rush like actual stats just aren't there so he can be like top end of A for me. I really don't want to lob everyone in S. And honestly, maybe some people should drop because there are better and top of forces. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he can be like the best card in A, but I just don't really love his stats. I don't think his I don't think his attributes or his stats are S tier, so I'm gonna have him A. And now we have Julius Peppers right here. There is a major downside to this card though. If you use this one, you can't use his free safety card, which, you know, that, that that does suck, but can be 93 speed, 94 acceleration, 6 foot 7, 295 this time. Finesse, power moves, block shed, impact blocking, all amazing. And this time for traits, has a bull rush and swim move trait on yes. And once again, gets on top of forces and everything. Obviously, if you're using his free safety card, I probably wouldn't use this card. But if you want to use this card, I do think he is right around the levels of an S tier pass rusher. Now, this is a super interesting card right here. Sam Hubbard is down to an 80 overall, and you might be like, Dill, why are you even covering? covering him he looks awful he has 79 for every single stat and for traits bull rush swim move on yes whatever right like why would you use this card he still can go ahead and get unstoppable force for zero okay i know 
I know his I know his attributes are not good, but unstoppable force for zero makes it to where that doesn't really matter. And he can get edge start elite for zero, no outsiders. He can get some pretty good abilities for zero as well. For me, call me crazy. Call me crazy. I am still having this card A tier, which you might not like, but Unstoppable Force for Zero makes it to where his stats really don't matter. To me, it's just a physical stat thing, why he's A and not S. But yeah, getting Unstoppable Force for Zero, I think is just absolutely insane. Now right after that, we get Brandon Graham, who has the Technician arc. It'd be 95 speed, 98 acceleration, with great play rec, finesse moves, power moves, block shit, impact blocking, all phenomenal. He's 6'2", 265 as well, and for traits, has everything on yes, so he is trait glitched. And from an ability standpoint, he doesn't get double zero AP abilities, but can get things like double or nothing, extra delete, no outsiders are under pressure so gets one really great ability uh hard to get much better than him in this tier but for me brandon graham is gonna go ahead and go in this a tier man I, I think he's really really solid he's gonna go right here for me probably the best non x factor player in a and deacon jones actually finally gets an upgrade his last card was his a legend card but deacon jones this time can be 97 speed 99 acceleration finesse power moves block shed impact blocking all phenomenal six foot five 272 and for his traits has everything you want on yes besides strip ball but that really isn't like the end of the world right for his abilities though kind of similar to brandon graham in the sense that he doesn't get doubles zeros but can get double or nothing extra elite instant rebate no outsiders or under pressure for zero so for me deacon jones is going right by brandon graham for me he is going in this a tier bang right there and for the final card of the video we got tuli tupelo two right here i'm probably saying that wrong but this card is an amazing six foot three 266 run stopper arc can be 98 speed 98 acceleration with great finesse power moves block shed impact blocking and for his traits has bull rush and swim move on yes and strip ball on yes from an ability standpoint is where he stands out though gets two zero ap abilities i love tackle supreme and inside stuff for zero he has been my best defensive lineman ever since i've used him so for that reason he is for sure the number one for me he is the number one left in in the game for me i think he is absolutely insane he has just played out of his mind for me so yeah y'all this has been my updated left end tier list in madden 23 ultimate team though and this is probably gonna be the final one so hope y'all did enjoy this man we will start this again in madden 24 so if you want to see that leave a like and subscribe and also if you want to see me play with some of these cards live we still are playing madden 23 we we are grinding still i'd love to see y'all in the twitch streams make sure to check the links in the description if you want to see that now if you don't feel like heading over to twitch though and you want another video to watch check this one out right here i rank the best outside linebackers in madden 23